Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a Stampin' Up! UK independent demonstrator and today I have another one sheet wonder for you. So today is the 23rd day of my advent project so there's only one more left to go which is tomorrow's but today's is these gorgeous cards using the Year of Cheer designer series paper which I fell in love with and I've coloured the paper because it really can be used for anything and I have used two stamp sets so I have used the Merry Pattern stamp set, which I love. You can't get this anymore. It was a hostess set um, back in September and October. You can't get it anymore and Christmas in the making and this is only available until the end of December. Um, but they are my two favourite sets from the Christmas period. So because it's towards the end of my advent projects, I wanted to use both because I fell in love with them this year. Okay, so this one sheet wonder, I've got the sheet here and it will be up on my website, does 22 cards. So we start off with, you want four panels that are one sheet by four and a half inches, one panel that's one inch by three inches, and then this panel here, you just split it into inches. Here you have got eight boxes that are all two inches by three inches. And over on the other side of the sheet, you have two columns at three inches, these ones are three inch by three inch squared. These ones are three inch by four and a half inch big sheets. And then you have two which are three and a half inch by four and a half inch that you just cut in half diagonally and it creates 22 cards. So I've made 20 of these cards and I've done them in different colors. I've done them in lemon and lime twist, which I loved. And from the occasions catalog, there will be a lemon lime twist watercolor pencil coming out. It's in one of the kits and it's not in the watercolour pencils packet that you can get from the annual catalogue. So I just wanted to have a play with that. And I have made quite a few that are in the lemon and lime because I didn't realise how much I would love lemon and lime twist as a Christmas card. I mean, I, I like this one anyway, but these are the cards I've made with it. And I'm going to make the last two with you um, on screen. This one was used in the Year of Cheer Washi. I think I might be putting the Year of Cheer Washi on all of the cards when it's done because I felt it just added a little bit extra, but I wasn't sure, so uh, I had a play. And then I used Berry Burst, which was this one. However, I ran out of Berry Burst midway through this project. I just did, these are the three inch by two inch squares that you have eight of, so they're all the same. And what I did, I don't know whether you can see, at the top I have just put my ruler straight across and coloured it all in with the Wink of Stella. And I've coloured the reindeer in with the Wink of Stella as well. I'm not sure if you can see all of the, uh, the white bits are in there, so he dazzles. And when I ran out of my Berry Burst ribbon, I changed it to the crumb, sorry, to the Crush Curry ribbon and found that I actually quite like that just as much and it's mixed with the Berry Burst cardstock because I'd already mounted all of my bits onto that. So let me show you with the two final pieces that I have. And the two final pieces are two of these ones, number 17, number 22, one inch by four and a half inches. And they're here. So what I did to colour the paper is I went round, I'm going to do one of these in lemon lime twist and I've already cut the backing for that, so it's that one. And one of them in berry burst and I still have to cut the backing for that but we'll we'll do that on the, on the video. So what I did was I just coloured and I did it quite quite dark, I pushed quite deeply on it because I did want a big green impression. Did it round all of these. I love this DSP. I've used it, I don't know how many times this year. Well, I've used the whole pack, so this was the last bit left. Um, and I've coloured it in so many different ways. I wasn't going to colour it. One of the girls on the craft forum that I'm on, she coloured it and I was outraged because I was like, that's beautiful paper, why are you colouring it? But it does, it looks lovely coloured and then it matches any DSP or any occasion you're using it for. 
So then I come in with a Daffodil Delight watercolour pencil. This is one that's in the annual catalogue in the box of watercolour pencils. The kit that's coming out in the Occasions catalogue has two brand new watercolour pencils. One of them is Lemon and Lime Twist, which as you can guess, I'm quite happy about that one. And the other one is Flirty Flamingo. So if you're a watercolour fan, look out for those. They're in it. A gorgeous kit. I will do a video unveiling the kit because it was very pretty. Okay, so once you've done that, just grab my blender pen. Just going to grab a tiny bit of scrap and make sure that I cleaned it after I did. So to do that, I'm just going to go straight through both colours. I'm just going to drag that out as far as it will go. And it mixes the yellow and the green together. It creates it quite nice as a starburst, so I quite liked that. I've coloured these in now using this technique, using the aqua pens, using reinkers, using when you push the top of the ink pad down and then you carry the ink across from one thing to another using your blender pens and your aqua markers. I've sprayed it with my spritz. It's done it in all of it and it manages to make all of them just a different colour. And I'm just dragging what's left on my brush over the little dots that's on there. And that's how I coloured the paper. I came in with Winker Stella and I just went around the circle where the bright green is and I just glitz that up. Majorly so the whole thing shines even more than it, it would shine before if I don't sure you can see it on the colour. It is very pretty. And then this one, for this one I used Rich Razzleberry, because we don't have a berry burst pen or pencil, but it didn't matter because when you do the Rich Razzleberry, it looks quite a lot like berry burst. Or you could have mounted it onto berry burst card, I could have done that, I just wanted it to be an in colour. I'm getting to the stage now where I really am so fed up of reds and greens. I can't wait to pack them away. And then it will come about June or July when I think, oh, you know, I could just do with some reds and greens. I don't use those anymore. So bored of them over Christmas. And then again, just with the yellow, come in again. I think it's a real shame they retire in this DSB. It's well, the one of them's copper, and another one's gold. So you can't really colour those to the the colours that you want, but you wouldn't want to because they're beautiful as they are. Um, but this one, and there's another one with snowflakes. You can colour them any colour, and they look good. They'll go with any project. And to be honest, I don't think they're just Christmas. I mean, this could be birthday. This could be. Um, Particularly around bonfire night, this would be pretty good. Okay, so exactly the same. I'm just going to grab both colours, mix them into each other, and drag them out. I did think as I did this that this creates a very flirty flamingo look. So you could probably put it onto flirty flamingo um, cardstock too when you mount it. I've, I've chose berry burst. a couple of one sheet wonders in my advent projects mainly because I know that I am one of those people that as soon as it gets near Christmas I will totally forget different people's cards or someone will hand it to me that I haven't thought of or there'll be something on Christmas Eve that I wasn't planning on going to and I just need a Christmas card for it because I try to make personal cards for a lot of people these are just so gorgeous that they can be special cards still in a one sheet wonder. So I like them. Right, the way I mounted these onto the cardstock 
was I just used my fast fuse to adhere it. Wherever my fast fuse has gone, there it is. Let's just stack it just so you can just see an edge of it. If you want to cut it all precisely, it's about an eighth of an inch bigger than the smaller piece that you want. So you've just got, it's a sixteenth of an inch either side. It's not much of the colour that you want. Because the paper's colourful enough as it as it is. If you didn't want to mount it and you wanted to save money, you could always just sponge the edges. That would work just as well and look just as good. So to create the cards, I've got a piece of A4 Whisper White cardstock, like that, cut it in half, and then I took my scoring tool, where is it, and I scored it at five and seven eighths of an inch, like that. Just drag that across so it was folded and done as a tent fold card. Okay, so let's fold the other one. I'll do them both together. They're both going to be featuring different colours, but folded that the wrong way. There we go. Okay. So with these ones, I've stuck this. I've done some. This is the fun about a one sheet wonder when you've got two things the same. It doesn't matter where you stick them. You can stick them in completely different places. I've done some in the middle, some at the bottom. I'm going to do this one over this side. Like that. And I'm going to put this one over this side like that. Okay, so for this one I'm going to use my Memento ink. And I'm going to use the... Uh, the hostess set. I loved this set. If you've got this set, there is so many things you can do with it. Unfortunately, you can't get it anymore, which is a real shame. Quite a few people seem to earn it and then put it on eBay, and I thought, what a waste. You've just you haven't even tried it and it's a beautiful set. I don't know how you could earn it and not use it. I'm going to line that up and put that in. And I'll use the stag from this set as well. There we go. Put the crushed curry away. Bring in the ribbon, and to do the ribbon, I'm just going towards the end of the reel, just tie it around my finger. Just like that. Sorting the edges out. fuse on the top of the card just to stick the ribbon to and there we go and just to finish it I'm going to grab my Winker Stella again just come in do his necklace do the trees the chevrons necklace the chevrons and the necklace all on his Christmas jumper so he glitters quite nicely and I'm just doing all the little bits of holly on the tis the season And that's that card done. I'm not going to do any more with... Oh, I might do. I might just come in underneath here and just do what I said before. You know, just put that little bit of glimmer on the edge of the paper just so it doesn't look quite so blank at the bottom. Just looks like a bit of snow. Can you see that? That finishes the card off nicely. So that's number 21. And then this is number 22. 
For this one I'm going to use Christmas in the making, just so it's a bit different for you. this lady and her bauble I think she's sweet I think she's probably the one out of the set that I've used the most of and in that set there is a gorgeous little sentiment that says there's a Merry Christmas in the making so I'm just going to grab a block to put that on show you around the back way oh no I don't want to do that in memento just grab my stamp and scrub wherever I put it in my photo studio that's a good place to put it the label is not very good I've stuck all my blocks with these labels for classes and then um, if I stick my stamps on the side that the label is they come back off which is a shame So if you, you're planning on labelling your stamps, just beware that they don't stick very well to the label. There is a Merry Christmas in the making. I'm going to cover that mistake I've made up there. I'm rushing. All of my One Sheet Wonder videos have been really long, so I was trying to cut this down and not waffle through it. But um, making mistakes isn't a good way to go, so I'm just going to colour her skirt in with the lemon and lime watercolour paper pencil. Just gonna do the holly bits as well. Do that sash there. Around her waist, I'm just doing the collar as well. Run through with a bit of the yellow. And just put some yellow in her hair. What I love about the watercolour pencils is you don't have to be neat with these at all, do you? You have to be neat with your blender when you come in, but you can messy colour these in as much as you like. Where's the blender pen? Okay, just drag that through. some of the colour on my pen I'm just going to take it down and just colour her shoes in lightly there we go I don't want any green in her hair so just run that off at the side And there she's done. Just going to come in with my Winker Stella and I'm going to colour all of the bottom of her skirt in so that she shines. And then I'm going to do exactly the same up here. Actually, I'm not. I don't think. I might use one of these itty bitty bows purely because I've made a mess at the top. And I know my bow won't cover that mess, so we'll use an itty bitty bow to cover it instead. It's the first one I've used on these projects, I've been using my own bows. There's a Merry Christmas in the making. Just going to come in and put the little bit of snow at the bottom again. And there we go. There's that card. So it gives you 22 cards in total and as I said I've done them in all different colours and you could do these, you don't have to do them Christmas. I know now a lot of you will have done your Christmas cards already. Try them for birthdays or New Year cards. If you've got the Year of Cheer um, stamp set, I love that one. Where's that one? Let me show you. Cheers to the Year. There it is. It's got on there, Cheers to a New Year. That would look lovely on these because... You can all get fireworks at New Year's. And um, that's what this card reminds me of, fireworks. Mix and match them, do them with different colours. And they're beautiful. I love that one. 
I do think I'm going to be using the washi around most of them. Let me know what you think and what you'd do. And there's all the 22 cards. And I will put this sheet over on my blog so that you can get all the measurements and you can see it. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow for the last day of my event countdown. Thanks everybody. Bye.